folks, this is Matthew Lee here, and I'm here playing my custom-made Lucky Dog guitar. Um, there's a lot of cool things that I that I kind of wanted on this one, and Anthony did a real great job of uh, of really bringing kind of some of the ideas to life and really putting in his own artistic uh, amazingness uh, on the guitar. I really kind of wanted something that was Tennessee themed. And um, so we've got the logo here obviously done. This was all custom done. He really just knocked it out of the park with what he did with that pick guard. If you can look at it, it's it not only just got the name, but all the engravery and then obviously matched color scheme uh, here. Uh, and then what we wound up doing is we got a Lawler A3 in the bridge pickup, which is what you just heard. And then here, uh, we're now it's a five way position switch, first of all. Um, so that would just be the bridge. Now we've got the combination. So. You've got that strat tone uh, going. There isn't a blender, so it's all just going to be on the on um, whatever the pickup selector is. Uh, now we're in the middle. Uh, <laughs> pickups is just take a look at um, the cutaway that you have on this that was done this works really nicely obviously getting up the guitar neck and then obviously the beautiful flame on on the guitar it is a two-piece neck and something that if you add it if you can tell is uh, this is great for players that play live and may go from uh, dark settings to immediately when the stage lights hit you this is something he added and it's something I actually really like uh, because the, those light up that's kind of a big deal um, I've never done too too flamey of a neck and uh, he assured me that he'd uh, make it not only comfortable which is what it is you can kind of see the, the depth of that neck and kind of the profile and how that that works um, coming from you know a quote unquote fender type player or maybe you know I played the baseball bats and I've also played the the thinner profile necks it just it's a great uh, in between somewhere around around 0.90 at the the first fret so getting back into this we've got the barnyard white uh, color scheme I thought everything just matched uh, beautifully um, and if you can look you can even see on that pickup how that looks like there's stitching on there so he just did did a really great job of that um, and so let's get back to some of these pickups and a couple of licks and I'll be out of your hair so I believe we're at the middle different uh, I like the balance of it I'm still able to get all the versatility um, of all the different stuff I do because I do everything from chicken picking <laughs>
mean, all the... not only a fun build but you know what he was able to do every day just sending me pictures and saying is this cool is this great and and uh, the process was fun to to create with him obviously he's the artist and the person with the that, that's great with the stuff but the cool part was I felt like I was a, a part of that process and I kind of think that maybe with some other builders you're not gonna get that almost on a day-to-day -day basis uh, he did a great job with it um, it he blew it out of the water as far as the craftsmanship and what my vision was he even went a step farther so uh, if you haven't tried out his stuff I highly encourage you to uh, definitely check it out you will be seeing this all over Nashville and on Broadway where I play in the sessions that I do all the different things that I do um, and I'm very proud to have my name on it so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this brief demo and check out Lucky Dog Guitars Thank you. 